During the Cold War, nuclear weapons were considered the greatest threat to our security. Nuclear warheads may still be aimed at the United States, as we may have warheads targeted at perceived enemies. The purposeful or accidental use of such weapons cannot be ruled out. These weapons are designed to create a runaway nuclear chain reaction, resulting in an explosion of tremendous force, producing blast, heat, radiation, radioactive fallout, and the distinctive mushroom cloud. Another possible scenario is an attack on a nuclear power plant. The U.S. nuclear power industry is heavily regulated, and since security is a top priority, the possibility of sabotage, taking a plant hostage, or stealing materials for bomb making are feasible but unlikely. The plants have been designed to withstand a plane crash, so a 9-11 type suicide mission is a less than remote possibility. This program is called radiation monitoring. It is designed to provide information for hazmat response teams, firefighters, civil support teams, health physicists, EMS, hospital first receivers, and those who work with radioactive sources, or who may be assigned to respond to a radiological emergency. The program will provide a brief overview of radiation, the health effects of acute and chronic doses of radiation, incident size-up issues, and dosimetry. Procedures for the effective use of radiation detectors, the selection and use of protective clothing and equipment, and decontamination procedures for victims as well as emergency responders will be covered.